This is day two of my Uganda safari and I'm at Murchison Falls National Park which is absolutely spectacular. Today is all about enjoying the bird life and the wildlife from Land Cruiser and from the water. So let's see what biodiversity this place has to offer and I'm really looking forward to it. Murchison Falls is famously known as the most powerful waterfall in the world, where the Nile, the longest river in the world, squeezes through a 7 meter gap into a 45 meter drop. The falls drain the White Nile tributary into the Albert Nile and eventually pours water into Lake Albert. Murchison Falls National Park has spectacular scenery and a large biodiversity with a huge variety of plant and bird species and four of the big five game animals, including lions. There are no cheetah in Murchison. They are almost exclusively in Kadepo Valley National Park. Uganda is home to one of the most threatened subspecies of giraffe on the planet, the Nubian giraffe classified as critically endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature due to a 95% population decline in the last three decades. In 2010, it was estimated that there were only 250 Nubian giraffes living in the native range in Murchison Falls National Park. Today, there are over 1,800, which is one of Uganda's best conservation success stories. Giraffe have gone extinct in seven African countries. This is incredible to be so close to these Nubian giraffes, which are a subspecies of the Northern giraffe or Uganda giraffe. Absolutely incredible. Murchison Falls National Park is home to 50% of Uganda's Nubian giraffes, which was formerly known as Rothschild's giraffe, but that has been assimilated into the Nubian giraffe group. This particular national park is called Giraffe's Paradise and is, <laughs> as you can see, full of giraffes. I've got a tower of giraffes surrounding me it's absolutely incredible. They're everywhere, absolutely everywhere. These particular giraffes are distinguished from the very brown and orange pattern on them, divided up by the beige, and it's very distinct, and you can really see how these giraffes differ from other giraffes. And you get to see this firsthand, and I can't believe I'm walking amongst them. So incredible. Giraffe pregnancy usually lasts about 15 months with two year intervals between births. Females reach sexual maturity between the ages of five and seven, and males between seven and eight years of age, and travel long distances to detect and investigate females receptive to mating. Nubian giraffes are the tallest of all giraffe subspecies. A newborn giraffe will suckle from its mother as soon as it can stand, and that's why they need to be so tall at birth. A calf will feed on their mother's milk for 9 to 12 months. They will start eating solid food, leaves, etc. from about 4 months, at which time they also start to ruminate. This means they bring back their food from their specialised stomachs back into their mouths again to be able to chew their food several times to derive enough nutrients. Male calves will leave their mothers at about 15 months and often join all male groups. Female juveniles, however, often stay in the same herd as their mothers. If they do leave, they leave at about 18 months old and often stay in the same area as the family herd they grew up in. The recent discovery of oil in the park and the fact that it's only separated from the Democratic Republic of Congo by the Nile, poaching and mainly snaring is a major threat to wildlife here, including the giraffe. Giraffes are not necessarily the target species, but they are often collateral damage of wire traps. 
Vital long-term monitoring and adapting to threats posed by oil exploration in the park are essential. I'm in Africa walking amongst giraffe. It doesn't get any better than this. The cruise upriver to view Murchison Falls at the head of Vajayo Gorge has been the park's most popular attraction since 1950. Drifting gently along the Nile is also a fantastic way to discover and observe the biggest land mammals on the planet, the African elephant. Elephants are my absolute favourite animal and I've worked extensively with pygmy elephants in Borneo. In these videos, I hope to raise awareness and learn about the world's most endangered animals as I go. And I love being able to take you on that journey with me so that we can all spread the word, shift our consciousness and make a positive difference together. The African savannah elephant, Loxodonta africana, is listed as endangered on the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. Due to an elephant's very low reproduction rate of one calf per female every 8.6 years, Elephant populations recover far more slowly than other animals, with a maximum annual population growth of only about 6%. Murchison Falls is one of the hottest regions in Uganda, with the temperatures ranging between 25 and 32 degrees Celsius, providing a wonderful opportunity to see these majestic beasts drink and cool off. Living in family groups of varying sizes and led by matriarchs, Elephants can travel vast distances in search of water, with a mature individual consuming between 110 and 190 litres of water per day. Home ranges of these elephants can span several hundred square kilometres, playing an important role in the modification of ecosystems and creation of conditions suitable for the survival of many plants and animals. There are over 5,000 elephants in Uganda today and over 1,000 can be found here in Murchison Falls National Park. Here, a Nile crocodile has his sights set on a water buck carcass being played with by a hippo. The hippo almost seems to be teasing the crocodile with it. Eventually, another hippo asserts its dominance, determined to get in on the action. And the crocodile would just have to wait a little longer. Hippos are amongst the most dangerous animals in the world due to their aggressive and unpredictable nature. The Latin word hippopotamus is derived from the ancient Greek meaning river horse. These semi-aquatic mammals native to sub-Saharan Africa are threatened by habitat loss and poaching for their meat, ivory in the form of canine teeth and body parts. The International Union of Conservation of Nature classifies the hippopotamus as vulnerable meaning it is facing a high risk of extinction in the wild. International trade in hippo parts and products is significant within the United States, importing teeth, skin and meat, as well as belts, purses, western boots, knives and figurines, with only 115,000 adult hippos remaining in the wild in Africa. There are 91 antelope species on the planet, and Uganda is home to 29 species of antelope, and many can be found in Murchison Falls National Park. The Harta Beast, also known as the Kongoni, is the only African antelope of the genus Alcelophus. It has very obvious distinguishing features, such as its elongated forehead and curiously shaped horns. Once widespread throughout Africa, populations have declined drastically due to habitat destruction, hunting, human settlement and competition with livestock for food. Each of the eight hartebeest subspecies has a different conservation status. The Bubal hartebeest was declared extinct by the IUCN in 1994. Jackson's hartebeest, also known as Lelwell hartebeest, found here in Murchison Falls National Park, is listed as endangered by the ICUN. Patus monkeys are the fastest primates on Earth, reaching speeds of up to 34 miles per hour. The conservation status of the Patus monkey is near threatened, although some sources regard it as being endangered. This is due to habitat loss, trapping and hunting for bushmeat, which has led to population decline. They live in groups primarily composed of females and a single male. Predators of this monkey include dogs, humans, hyenas, raptors and baboons. But it's not all doom and gloom, as Murchison Falls National Park is alive with some of the most vibrant and beautiful bird species which are flourishing, 
such as this gorgeous red bishop, which is perfectly adapted to this grassland savanna habitat. And this stunning cinnamon chested bee eater. As the name suggests, they mainly eat flying insects, catching them on the wing, especially bees and wasps. The insect stinger is removed by repeatedly hitting and rubbing the insect on a hard surface. What a fantastic Uganda safari.